Hey, lightweights, here's what you can expect from today's episode of L.A. Noir. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. <laughs> Uppercut to the chin. Oh, 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 oh. The Silk Stocking Murder. Ah, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, it's my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia Fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. He's like, can I finish my breakfast first? Damn! Guess what I'm gonna say? You, you know drive. the way. You can drive. Damn it! You can drive. You have the address? It's the alley off Aliso between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, Phelps. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, Phelps. So, are they getting at this is a serial killer? That's what this is seeming like. We're able to find somebody that fits for every case, but they're not actually the guilty ones. We've got a serial killer on our hands. Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. The show? Dude. Not funny. Oh, for Christ's sake. Crothers, Pinker. Cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. So should I look at the body first and then talk to him? Oh, she was choked too. Strangled. Oh my god. Lacerations on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. Her seems much more brutal than the previous ones. As they say in my crime shows, he's escalating. There's something over here. Only Antonio. 21 years old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? Dude is now staging these for us? What the fuck? Kiss the blood, BD. We still don't know what BD means, do we? Another wedding ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. But her fingernails are broken like she did put up a fight. If I can see that again. Oh, they're not. Oh yeah, they are. I think that's probably everything, but if the music doesn't stop, we'll remember to come back here. The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangled, battered, naked. Yeah, 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 we know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. 
four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. Is that just another homicide detective? I don't know who that guy is. He keeps showing up. <laughs> okay, so we still got lots of music playing. Oh, there's a little thing here. Always got to look for the evidence markers. If she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when strangled. Was she strangled with her stocking? Doesn't seem like it'd be strong enough. Like, the stocking material would be strong enough for that. Eh, it's just circumstantial. But we're gonna pick it up just in case. So soft. An evidence marker here. May as well follow the trail. Well, is that everything? Because that's A and then no. C. B is the body. Okay. Take a look at this. So I think we're probably good there. We're just nailing in the blood. Antonia again. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Antonia. Huh. Same as a library card. Well, there's blood on the door, but I can't go in there. So is there more of a... Oh, yeah, over here. It's cool how our partners, like, look at the evidence and stuff with us and he was almost pointing us in the direction we needed to go just in case we didn't know we were supposed to follow this which is kind of cool whenever I hear the ding ding I just press I just press buttons just got I don't know I don't know what's ding dinging but we're gonna press the button and we're gonna find out we're gonna change angles sometimes it works out really nicely <laughs> proximity to the scene plus the blood stains no way is this coincidence no way, is this circumstantial. Okay, what about the newspaper, though? That's the cup. That's the shoe. Okay, I guess I can't pick up the newspaper. Um... Am I supposed to go up there? Not Etsy, I don't know. Oh, oh. On it goes. Oh, we got a shiny over there. If video games have taught me anything, it's to pick up the shiny. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. Thank you. A key. Number five. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. Should we take it with us? You think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Well, I mean, obviously. City Hall, that brazen son of a bitch. That's got to be a code or a cipher. Looks like a dice pat. It literally said that. I said it looks like a dice pattern, and as I was saying it, dice pattern. <laughs> Here I am thinking I'm all smart. Oh, uh, nope. Not as smart as Cole Phelps. Okay, we are climbing Where up. Where are you taking us? Oh, 
like how with these you literally just have to hold up and he does the whole animation. You don't need to worry about anything. You just hold up. Watch out, Pidgeys. This is very elaborate. Mrs. A. Maldonado. By hand. Empty? Where is all of this meant to be taking us? Well, who's Maldonado? Maybe we should figure that out. Clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. There you go, Phelps. You got a new M.O. I told you it wasn't our guy. Or he might just be getting more confident. Enameled and gold-plated. This was precious to her. Doesn't look like she'd used it yet. The trail points up. Send us on a wild goose chase. from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? Also, this is the first wedding ring we've actually recovered, isn't it? I don't think we found any of the other ones. I know we didn't find the last one or the watch. It's paint? Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. her actual blood he was painting with her blood why is that so much worse than if it's just her like blood blood coming out of her body Maldo son of a oh. bitch wants her identified mrs antonia maldonado 712 north hill street downtown so, we never found the letter for the envelope, though. Who is that envelope from? Because it's for her. We know that now. I appreciate the fact that they just warped us down here so we didn't have to do that ourselves. <laughs> okay. Antonia's residence. Let's review the facts first. So we have the bloodied stocking. Doesn't say other than it's stained in her blood. We have the blood trail. Blood patterns daubed with a brush and bucket on buildings surrounding murder sites. So it's actually her blood, but the killer intentionally painted it on to lead us on that wild goose chase. Antonia's hat. I don't know why that's important. Uh, items belonging to female murder victims scattered about crime scene by killer. Okay, that's not really important. Her house key with the number five. So we're an apartment complex. Dot pattern note. Oh, it didn't say dice. It said dot. Oh, maybe I am smart. Note depicting dot pattern diagram. I don't know what we would need those dice numbers for, but. And the library card with her address. So nothing for us to really put anything together yet. Can you drive to this one? It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him? We've closed the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway, but doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Not if he's got a confession. 
And, you know, there's ways of getting those. I'm sure. Sorry if you kept hearing my phone vibrate. I had a couple things come through, and then they all had, like, the reminder notifications. So they kept going off, so I just got rid of those. So hopefully we should be good. <laughs> no pets allowed. Please see housekeeper within for vacancies. Rooms, 35 cents. Beds, 15 cents. A boarding house. Oh, this makes me think of, um... Shoot, what was the name of that show now? Captain America's girlfriend had her own little... Captain C Carter, not Captain Carter. Cart whatever the show was called. Her little show. It was only two seasons. It was so freaking good. It was so freaking good. So freaking good. Go watch that show. Something Carter. Wait just a moment! I'm shedding. I hate it. I'm sorry. Can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lepente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Why did she didn't... you come in, detectives? It's this way. I'm glad she didn't just assume that she had done something wrong. I feel like usually in these shows, they're like, oh, what did she do now? You know, like that sort of thing. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. <laughs> Antonia's room is upstairs. Last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. What are we waiting for? Dude, I'm literally walking up the stairs. The fuck? I need to take a chill pill. Uh. Nobody heard a commotion in here? Did you look at that? A smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. Can I go out there? You know how I feel about windows, Phelps. What the hell? So someone broke in using this thing instead of a crowbar. I wonder where it was taken from. And why this? There'd be so many easier things to use. Should I go look in the playground? Maybe, but I'll look out there after. Let's check around here first, and then if the music doesn't stop, we'll go back out there. I was like, this has to be something, but there's no ding dinging. Mrs. Maldonado, 712 North Street, North Hill Street. That looked like the same envelope as before. Mrs. Antonia Isabel Maldonado, Parsons Boarding House. Antonia, further to my previous correspondence of August 7th, I am writing to inform you that your petition to the Superior Court of the State of California okay, has been an accepted and a court date scheduled. Your case, docket number 98765, will be heard on September 17th. I am told that your husband, um, Angel Christopher Maldonado, it's probably not pronounced Angel, and hell, Angel, I don't know, I'm sorry residing at 304 330 North Hill Street, Los Angeles, has been served with the official papers and is on notice to appear at the Central District Court on the above date. Though it is not essential, and many women in your position choose not to do so, I would advise you also to appear at the Central District Court on the scheduled date. In my experience, a woman plaintiff's presence in cases like this one can do much to influence proceedings. And if your husband does not appear on September 17th, which you have told me is likely, then it can only help our chances. Frederick Tattersall. So she's getting a divorce from her husband. The 
charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. Much happier. To, oh my gosh, why am I getting a million more emails right now? <laughs> I literally never get emails unless I'm recording. It must be the time of day I record. Okay, so it looks like we're all done here. Let's look at our clues before we talk to this chickie. So the broken window. But was we don't know if anything was taken. It doesn't necessarily look like. Oh yeah, wait, no, it does. I was gonna say it doesn't look like anything was like rummaged through, but the drawers are askew and the suitcase is open, and you know it's chaos in here. So yes, it does. The iron picket found outside a smashed window. Should I look outside and see if I can find where that goes first? I know the music stopped, but attorney's letter. Confidential correspondence between the divorce attorney and Antonia. And we're looking for a charm bracelet that was in the wedding picture but is missing. I'm just going to go out here and check real quick. I know the music stopped, but I feel like I should make sure there isn't a fence out here that that belongs to. It doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay. I love how we're like a little celebrity. Every time we walk around, oh, it's him, the cop from the newspaper. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, Detective. I'll do my best. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? <laughs> no, ma'am. She's like, don't sass me, boy. Um, she's not breaking eye contact. She's not doing sketchy eyes. She has no reason to lie about that. We found the divorce papers, so I'm going with good cop on that one. And I feel pretty dang confident for once. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her. Very cruel. She was a good girl. Little on the religious side, but a good girl. Movements of the victim. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. We got some sketchy ass. I was picking up on it in the tone. No, I've got no idea. But I don't think we have any like proof to say you're lying. Besides the library card, but I don't feel like that would be anything. That doesn't seem applicable here. So I think I'm gonna go bad cop. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? Phelps! I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. Why does she all of a sudden sound racist? All right, Phelps, you can call her a hag. That's mine. <laughs> You've had a break-in? No. That can't be true. Okay, so we know she's lying. There's no way a window is smashed open and you don't hear it. There's no way. Someone heard it. Someone heard it. And again, nosy old, nosy old hag like you, you went in her room. She didn't come back last night. You went in her room. You 100% went in her room. So I'm going to go accuse. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. Economical what do you have with to the hide? truth? I have no idea what you are talking about. Okay. That's how we're going to play it. Boom. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. 
I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. Okay, so this is where it's hard because in my mind, I feel like she could be telling the truth because... Like, who like who notices every piece of jewelry somebody wears? Like, even if she wore the bracelet, like, would you necessarily notice? She's only been there two months. Like, how much are you seeing this chick? And would she notice if you're wearing the bracelet all the time? But she kind of had sketchy eyes, and we do have the evidence about the bracelet. She wore the wedding ring and the necklace. We didn't find a necklace, which is interesting. She always wore a religious necklace. That's all about all of her jewelry. I feel like because of that, we have to say lie and we have to do the bracelet from the picture or else why did they give us that evidence? And also she's kind of looking a little smug, like, like not necessarily sketchy eyes, but like cocky hag eyes. Like, oh, I know she's got the bracelet because I took it last night or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know if this is right before going to Q's. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. Oh, really? In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? Oh, she never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. We didn't Thanks, find a wooden jewelry box, very did helpful. we? Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. Okay, so she it was accused, but not because we of the reason I thought. We could either front angle, <laughs> seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we could check out the Eldorado bar. Um. Uh. See, my gut says El Dorado Bar, but every time I go with my gut, I go wrong. So I'm going to say Maldonado Residence. But I'm also going to talk with our trusty old companion and see what he thinks. Or maybe. How do I talk to him when he's in the car? Any ideas? We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we could check out the El Dorado Bar. That's not helpful. I know that. I know that those are two options. You're behind the wheel. Go where you want. Nosy old hag. And I thought I was coming on strong with the ex-wives line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that the truth? Sorry, I'm just seeing what all these emails are about. I always get I always get nervous when I have a bunch of notifications that I can't look at because when your child's not here, you're always like, fuck, what is this? What's going on? Okay. Did that say Hitler? Aldonado is in apartment 304. Hillier. Nope. 304. Okay, and then you guys also said recommended like knocking on neighbors' doors. So, maybe I'll try to do that. The architecture of this building is really cute, but it's a little grimy. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Okay, guess I'm not knocking on any doors. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. Who's that dude? Uh oh, okay, left trigger. Oh. Oh. Stand down Take now. That. Oh. 
I got nothing to say. You got nothing to say. That's right, because I just punched you in the face. Ooh! That's what I thought, bitch! Uppercut to the chin. Damn. They got some decent shots in there. Ooh. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. We both lost our hats. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. I love it. Galloway, love it. badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no. Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it. You think I'd kill my own wife? We looked like we had sympathy for him all of a sudden. You should get the whole place of going over, and then talk to the neighbors. Okay, well, I was gonna do that anyway because you guys told me to, but if the game wants me to, that makes it easy. And Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. <laughs> oh. We just went toe-to-toe -to -toe with some boxers. I'm Finbar. Finbar, you're in the way, bud. Move! There's literally nothing in here. Are we sure about that? Not much help. Why not? You're very quick to dismiss evidence. I have this like rogue hair. Just, just keeps picked fruit market. Attacking my face. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. So did that add a new location? I was too distracted by my. Yes. Okay. The El Dorado. Oh, that's nice. So if we had not gotten that info from the lady, we would have gotten it here. The El Dorado must be a family favorite. This will take some explaining. Yes, it will. But... Is that a men's shirt or a woman's shirt? I can't tell. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movements. He's got no alibi. He's toast. What do you want? LAPD. Hello, We're too. making some inquiries. Make it quick. I worked nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. Ah! Could have waited for me to walk away. Shit. <laughs> Close the door right in my face. No good. There's nobody here. The last guy took a while. We should wait. Sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. We're not going to ask any follow-up questions? You still might have heard something. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. 
Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss? Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come Snipping. back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. Okay. I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag too, Phelps. Well executed restraint. I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. Phelps! The hired help at the El Dorado might have seen the broad the night she died. Maybe the regulars too. We should check it out. Okay. Can I go out this way? So should we check it out now? This is always the hardest part. Yeah, I guess so. Especially because that's where he said we should go. Hey, that's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. <laughs> you can tell that just from me standing you here. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Finbar? What's happening? Car 11K, Car 11K, come in. Car 11K, Car 11K, come in. KGPL, 11 King, over. 11K, Captain Donnelly and Detective Sergeant Finnis Brown urgently request your presence at Central. A new letter has been found. 11K, en route. Okay. Guess we're going to the police station. Captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. I literally have. Are you ready for this? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten notifications on my phone right now. We gonna go downstairs and see Donnelly or what? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Shit. I want to make comments. You're a real asshole. You know that. I was door knocking all morning, but I got to make in the car in the end. Good job. Proud of ya. Anyway, so where I was going with that is, when I'm not recording, literally nobody talks to me, nobody contacts me. Recording time, everybody and their mother's like, hey! Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. His information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours, regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and type from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. So they can do prints back then? We've just been touching all this shit with no gloves on? <laughs> Have changed my mind. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Have changed my mind. You would not give a square deal. Fuck you, BD Tex. Was that in the paper? Head upon, Keep upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. Every time I talk. <laughs> How dare he interrupt me! Heap upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. Ill deeds, then be thou damned, beholding good. Both infinite as is the universe, and thou in thy self-torturing solitude. An awful image of calm power, though now thou sittest, let the hour come when thou must appear to be that which thou art internally. And after many a false and fruitless crime, scorn track thy lagging fall through boundless space and time. What's this a poem from? That's why we called you in. Do you think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. 
You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Is that what they call sure, but what does here? it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We had the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. See, this is where it makes me nervous, because you guys said do the interview first. If, you, if the option comes up, do the interview first. And I know I don't have to charge him, I can walk away, but it makes me nervous to interview before I've gone to all the places and gotten all the clues. This guy's got a screw loose. Interview room two is usually where they are. Improved your oh, attitude, shit, I should have looked my clues Angel. First. What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. What time did that lady say? Pursuing Antonia from the apartment. Didn't she say nine? His sketchy eyes are subtle, but he keeps going. And I'm pretty sure she said nine. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. Your brother can lie. Hello. Boom! We have a witness who confirms that you are arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. What's not true? We argued, all right, but she went out, and I went out after her, and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But about the car? But the car. It was a brown Ford Coupe. If it was dark, how do you know it's brown? Interesting. Okay. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. Well, I mean, we know that's a lie. Because we have the attorney's letter. Liar, liar. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. Well, this letter says you have to. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. She came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. And she ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size 8. What difference does that make? Everybody in this city wears a size 8 shoe. Damn! When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. Looking at his eyes. Very subtle. I feel like that might be the truth. Fuck. I don't know. When you found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure, she always wore that. Um... <sighs> Where 
religious necklace. Yeah, I don't fucking know. I'm not confident on this, but I'm going good cop. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. What was the message? Wait, what was the message? Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Buddy. 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 I mean, okay, so this is where I get... Men's button-down shirt stained with blood and collar and sleep. This is where... This is where I struggle because we were talking about the shirt. And I know he's lying. So it's obviously not good cop. It's bad cop or accuse. But... Do I do accuse and then use the bloody shirt? Because, like, we know... We were just talking about the bloody shirt. So then it's, it's like... Do I use the bloody shirt because there's blood on the sleeve? And we're like, hey, that's not a cutting yourself shaven type of blood. Quit staring at me like that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to trust you guys in that I can do a cues and then back out. We're going to just see what happens. You're lying through your teeth. You killed her and your brother's in on it. You don't know what you're saying. Why would I do that? Oh, see, that doesn't fit that. That doesn't fit that. Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Fuck, I'm gonna go bad cop. I don't think we have evidence besides the shirt, and I don't think that makes sense. You're lying through your teeth. You killed her, and your brother's in on it. You don't know what you're saying. Why would I do that? So that makes me think that the evidence needs to connect to, like, no, I know you done did it. But we don't have that evidence. So I'm gonna fuck. Angel, I'm not gonna waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm gonna have you charged. My brother, this. Pun intended. He said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. What about the matches? We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Okay, not gonna lie, that one was stressful. But I feel like I have finally pretty much cracked the code on these interrogations. All morning, but I got to make in the car in the end. Obviously, I'm not 100% perfect because I did get one wrong last video. But it's all about the eyes, baby. It's all about the eyes. Okay, do we get any new clues from that? The brown, brown Ford Coupe is the only new clue we have. And the locations... I feel like we should go to the bar next. But let's see what um Finbar has to say. I'm at a loss. The hired help at the El Dorado might have seen the broad the night she died. Maybe the regulars too. We should check it out. All right, that's what I was thinking anyways. Thanks for the help. Can you drive to this one? You don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alleyway. It's a sad story, but this town's seen it play out a thousand times, Carl. Why don't you want to see a connection here? Because there are perfectly good, real-life suspects for every one of these murders. We don't need to go looking for the monster under the bed. He's not wrong. But also, I feel like he's wrong. <laughs> like every single case, we found somebody that fits, but not everything matches up. Like we still have missing jewelry. We still don't know 100%. You know, it's like 
It's like super close, but not perfect. What can I get you? LAPD, Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar, how can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah, me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night, 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She, she was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. But she was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. Oh, is this the one that we had the envelope for? Oh. My eggs were runny. Divorce papers? Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Okay, that matches up to what um, Angel said. Whereas Antonia Maldonado did on the 8th day of August 1947 prefer her petition to the Superior Court of the State of California praying for the cases therein set forth that she might be divorced from the bonds of matrimony entered into with Angel Maldonado. We do therefore command that Angel Maldonado, the said defendant, that setting aside all other business and excuses whatsoever, you be and appear in your proper person at the Central District Court of the Superior Court of the State of California on Wednesday the 17th day of September 1947. Next to answer the petition of divorce from the bonds of matrimony on the grounds of cruelty brought by said Antonia Maldonado and to show cause, if you have any, why the said plaintiff, Antonia Maldonado, your wife, should not be divorced from the bonds of matrimony. Witness Han Earl Brantham, judge of our said court of California, the 11th day of August in the year of our Lord, 1,947. Probably didn't need to read all of that, but you never know. You never know. All right, missing jewelry. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace, some kind of religious thing, I think. You know, the temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. I feel like he's telling the truth. Did she leave with anyone? <laughs> no. She wanted a cab, but my payphone ain't working, so I couldn't call her one. He didn't have sketchy eyes. <gasps> Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She <sighs> said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. See, I feel like he's making the same face now. I feel like he's telling the truth again. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk There's young no woman? There's no difference in the what lie face. Think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been Damn a big it. help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. So One who last did question. she leave with? What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. My eggs were runny. Dude, no one gives a shit about your damn runny eggs. <laughs> We've got real problems here. Okay, so... Um... You want a tip? Refill my coffee next time, honey. Uh, uh, don't know who you're calling, honey. Say, but honey, what time do you me? get off waiting tables? No Sam has here, taken but... me to Palm Springs oh. for the weekend. He drove me up to Mulholland and we did some necking. <laughs> you did some necking, huh? So I just don't know why the um, location didn't go away. Probably because I fucked up the question. 
Ugh. I think he's a bit of a gangster. Who did he leave with? Or she leave with? I think the guy said that this, the um, angel said that this is right down the street. So can I just walk there? I think I can. We're just gonna walk. Play little frogger. Boop, boop. I don't know what that noise was. Oh yeah, just picked fruit market, always fresh. I feel like I haven't found a newspaper in a long time. That's probably not good. <gasps> Leo! The handbag was left just up there, overlooking the market. Could have come here from the start and saved ourselves a day's legwork. There's no music here either. How to dance to bebop. Hi, Leo. LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Okay, those are sketchy eyes. Those are sketchy eyes. Those are sketchy eyes. But I don't think we've got anything from these that will say you're lying, so... Bad cop. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. Look, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. Okay. Now I'm nervous. Now, now that I got one question wrong, I'm all second guessing myself. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. Okay, well, that's definitely sketchy eyes. And again, I don't think I have anything that would say he was lying about that. Husband's alibi, Brown Ford Coop, maybe the coop, but. I don't think that makes sense yet. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? This sure, is the guy staring before. at his wife, right? Uh, she seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. Is this dude a stalker? Did they make Leo the murderer? Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Oh. Okay, that's the truth. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. All right, she well. The guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. <laughs> okay, now we've got music going. All right. Um. So he said that she came for a bottle, but she had a little freaking box. We can go in here now. Oh. Quite the side hustle. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> the fuck? Is this a scalpel? Oh, I saw the tire iron. Oh, we're looking at the tire iron first. I don't want to look at that yet because I don't want that to cut me out from other things like last time. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. We know the combo. Didn't I say dice? Okay, I get stupid excited for no reason. So we've got a two, a five, a three. Close it. 
two. Wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body of which he is the Savior. Is that why she didn't like the bracelet? I feel like that should have given us something. Am I supposed to do something with this? Shit. doing the light little chime, which tells me that I'm good there. Why cut someone who was already dead? It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. Must have oh. seen it during the war. This fruit stall punk gets about ten seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Cliff! Damn it, Leo. <laughs> Who did that car belong to, though? Damn it. <laughs> God damn it, get after him, Cole. Dude, I literally just got behind the wheel. What? I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish oh me luck. The fruit guy's getting away, Phelps. I know, I ran into a fucking wall. What do you want me to, me to freaking do? Jesus. Honestly. I was trying to avoid hitting the pedestrian. I guess I should have just ran him over. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now who's about to get picked? Oops, oops, oops. Oh, this is not going to be five stars. I'm doing too much damage. Driver. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Oh. Do we get him? Looks pretty got to me. Well, it was nice having five stars while it lasted. It was definitely not five stars after all that damage. You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind them that crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. They solved crime a little differently back then. <laughs> oh, man. Just gotta chill. 
Oh no. Oh no! Yeah! <laughs> what, um... What's the maximum number for damage that I can do before it drops me down a star? Given the size of Clem's stash, it was a wonder you didn't catch him red-handed at the El Dorado. Well, you know, we can't all be winners, okay? Okay? You do it your way, game! I'll do it my way! Let's see if there's a flashback. Sarge, why are the guys giving it to the doggies? They're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Yeah, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? What the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. You never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that jab loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three. Bad juju? Where were you dragged up? A swamp? can't wait to see how all this ties in. All right, guys, so once again, I got a little cocky and then I got one wrong, but that's okay. I feel like for the most part, I figured out the facial expressions, but sometimes, sometimes the sketchy eyes steer me wrong. But for the most part, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job. Um, <clears throat> I... I'm glad that I did the interview before going there, or the interrogation, obviously, because I would have missed that. So thank you guys for the tip there. Um, the other tip was to make sure that I canvas the houses around or the apartments around. Um, but in this mission, it actually told me to do that. So that was pretty easy. But thank you for that tip as well. I will try to do that in the future. Um, trying to think of other tips. I think that was Oh, and asking the partner for where I should go. That didn't necessarily help me super much this time because he kept saying, like, two places. But the one time it was helpful when he said to go to the El, El Dorado bar. Um, but it's definitely so stressful because I know that I've gotten pretty dang good at answering the questions. But there's such a level of stress to it because if you get it wrong, then you miss out on really crucial details. Like, I know I only got one question wrong, but I feel like he would have given me something that I needed there that would have shown me, like, right when I went to that Clem guy, um, that he was the guy who did it. So, uh, it's like that stress, when I think about that stress too much, then I get all in my head and then I get them wrong. Um... And then, what else was I going to say? Oh, I, I, I feel like they want us to think there's a serial killer, which makes me think that there's not a serial killer, but I do think there's a serial killer. <laughs> and I'm probably falling for their trap, but I feel like there's a bigger connection here than um, what we know. And I don't know if that, like, ties into the newspaper somehow, because I know those have to tie in some way. Um, I feel like it couldn't tie into the flashbacks, but I don't freaking know. I don't know, but I haven't found a newspaper, so I probably missed one there, which is disappointing. Um, but what was I going to say? Where was I going with this? I don't even know. Totally lost my train of thought. Oh, serial killer. Um, <laughs> but I feel like all of the crimes look really good, but they don't match perfectly. So even the Clem guy, we still didn't find the necklace. Like we found her bracelet, but we still didn't find the necklace. We still didn't find the ring. Um, so where the heck did those go? He had the scalpel, but there was no other, like, we didn't have the shoe size matching, nothing with lipstick, nothing with, like, what was actually used to strangle her. And I suppose the stockings could have strangled her, but I don't know if those are strong enough for the damage that was done. I'm not sure. But then every case, it's like, yeah, they work, but they're not, it still doesn't sit right with me. They don't feel perfect for it. Um, so I'll be curious to see if there is a connection or if I'm just reading into it because they want me to read into it. I don't know. But regardless, I had a ton of fun and I hope you did as well. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day.